Instead of using a propeller, we use a drag based paddle to push water backwards to make the boat go forwards. The force generated by your paddle is equal to the velocity at which you move the paddle with squared multiplied by the coefficient of drag of the dragon boat paddle. The coefficient of drag of the dragon boat paddle is similar to a flat plate. The boat increases velocity as you grab water coming towards the boat and propel it behind you. The momentum of the boat changes as you build up speed and slow down between strokes. The momentum of water moved depends on the speed and distance of the blade. The resistance of water experienced by the blade is overcome by the forces in the top hand and bottom hand of the paddler. The greater the pressure difference between the front of the blade and the back of the blade, the greater the force will be. A greater understanding of how the blade works against the water at speed will allow us to problem solve and develop ways to paddle faster. Here we see a downward and angle changing movement suddenly changed into a horizontal movement to generate force at speed. Jacob plotted the movement of the paddle through the water and has provided to us here. Jacob's real life experience with the paddle matches that observed by Gomori in 2012. Gomori observed that a downward and angle changing blade is transformed into the horizontal direction rapidly. This change of direction represents an acceleration of the water. The greater the acceleration of the water, the greater the force produced. This computer simulation shows the water being pushed at the front of the blade and the water being dragged into the void behind the blade. The momentum is equal to the mass of the water moved in front of the blade and in the void behind the blade multiplied by the velocity of water. A study by Morgok confirms that the water behind the blade is moving with velocity. Here we see a description of how the blade moves water and we also see how the velocity of the water is higher after leaving the paddle face which confirms that the water is moving backwards. The momentum of water used to propel the boat is equal to the mass of water moved times the velocity of the water moved. If you move water faster, you will have more momentum than if you moved the water slower. You can catch less water and move through your stroke length quickly, or you can catch more water and complete your stroke length slower. It's easy to catch and move slow moving water, but what we really want is to be able to move fast moving water so we can accelerate to higher speeds. Can we catch more water or can we move the water faster?